Hey guys, today we are doing a review on So Clean, So Fresh Peel Off Mask. If I'm looking down, it's because I'm reading my notes that I've written down. And there are lots of notes written down. So this is what the bottle looks like. You can get it for like 6 or $7 at Walmart currently. I got it on clearance like two years back, so it's kind of like... <laughs> um, let me first off mention it, the beef I have with this. This is the brush that comes with it. It's silicone, which isn't a problem. It's after the second use, it did this. And it, it never has been the same since. So I've been having to use my own brushes for it. So I would suggest you use your own brushes as well if you're going to be using this product. I just wanted to get that out there. Now, let me get to my notes. So if I'm looking down, and my apologies, I cannot remember anything off my, you know, offhand. So I'm just going to read from my notes. It says 20 to 30 minute facial mask comes with applicator. As I had mentioned, the applicator just kind of falls apart. And uh, it needs longer than 20 to 30 minutes to dry. It took me sometimes even an hour before it like dried fully. So make sure you definitely have something to do while you're applying this mask and waiting for it to dry, like watch TV, play video games, or something like that, because it just took forever. Claims eight uses. It definitely did more than eight. I've done this five to six times, and I did it with my husband one time too, so it has been used about seven times and it's not even to its halfway mark it's right here if you can't tell because it's clear through here that means it's been used that much so obviously there's more than eight uses for this bottle which is not a bad thing it's actually a wonderful thing so if you actually like the product it's being used to its extent and more it says on the bottle that it's made for men and women so men if you want to try this out and you know see if there's a difference for you i would suggest <laughs> shaving <laughs> because this this pulls hair so let's first get to what it does and what it what it good it does what it bad it does from my personal experience before we get into the actual chemical experience my husband and i have tried it out we did a review on it he has dermatitis with oily skin so he said that it was actually fairly good for him he liked it a lot it felt his face felt refreshed and clean for a good few days and that's a surprise to me because I actually had the opposite effect. While it did take off a lot of our hairs, it took out some of his poor, like his blackheads. It didn't really take out my blackheads. It took off a lot of hair. Um, it did leave me oily quite often, which is abnormal for me since I have combination normal to dry skin. I really don't get oily that much. And when I do, it's usually because acne decides to pop up here and there. So you get that oily spot right there on the acne. But I've never really had oily skin other than that. So it did make my skin a little bit oily for a combination skin for normal to dry skin. Just for anyone who wants to have that type of skin, some people prefer to have a bit of oil on them. I prefer to have nothing. So that's our personal experiences. What we didn't care for is the fact that it does rip off your skin a little bit. Not skin, but your hair. It feels like it's ripping off your skin. But it does have a little bit of a pain uh, level to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a high tolerance to pain and I felt pain. Zach has a low tolerance to pain and he didn't feel any pain. So take it at your own risk, I suppose. And that's all the personal experiences I've had. I, I used it a couple times other than that to get some of the blackheads like loose on my nose so then afterwards I can use an applicator to actually take it out. But um, it doesn't really take out that much by itself. For me personally, Zach said he saw some but I didn't so. Now it claims a lot of things. It claims to have, I got a list right here. It claims to have charcoal, <clears throat> excuse me, green tea, witch hazel, cucumber, chamomile, chamomile, I know I said that wrong, tea tree, silicic, silicic, silic, 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 a word that I can't say. Words I can't say, I'll, I'll write down right here. Um, aloe vera and vitamins E and C. Surprisingly, when I looked up all these ingredients that's on this bottle, inside of this bottle, it does have all of these things, including um, corn and ginger, which is not listed. It definitely feels refreshing and it does feel tight when you do put it on, though. So, it feels nice when it's on and it does feel tight at the end. Um, don't, okay, yeah, it says don't get on hair because it does rip off hair. 
it does have a good chemical. It's dipotassium glycerinate, um, a skin conditioning agent that improves appearance of dry, damaged skin by reducing flaking and restoring supplements, supple, suppleness. Functions as an anti-irritant with anti-inflammatory and skin smoothing capabilities. So yes, it does have a chemical that does all of those things. So now let's get to the chemicals that it does not have good terms with. The bad chemicals. Again, I'll be listing them down here. Tac or talcum powder. Suspicious of disease including cancers in the ovaries and lungs. Butylene glyco. May be an irrit irritant irritant for sensitive skin, polyvinyl, <laughs> polyvinyl alcohol, used as an adhesive lubricant fiber in, in cement. Now this isn't a bad chemical, I wrote down even that it's non-toxic, I just wanted to bring it up for anyone who may or may be wondering how tight this might be on your skin, this means it could be a little bit tight and maybe a little bit abrasive, so don't put it on like your acne or on a cut on your skin. Lactobacillus. Ferment is an antimicrobial preservative for skin and hair and is a cosmetic fun cosmetic formul formulation. So this is another good one that means there's antimicrobial microbial, microbial? Uh, components inside of it to prevent from like bacteria causing issues on your skin, etc, etc. Whether that is actually true because antibacteria has been proven to not actually get rid of bacteria. I'm not quite sure about the antimicrobial, so don't take my word on it. Peg 40 hydrogenated castor oil is a type of fragrance, so allergy alert on that, those who have problems with fragrance. And trithenolamine is also a fragrance that's inside of this container. So there's two fragrances inside of this container, one of them being the trithenolamine. It has an organ system toxicity, so allergen alert also. And that is all. <laughs> Big words. I'll be writing them down right here. So if I butcher them, which I did, you have some information on that. So that's all I can say about it. Did it help me much? No, will I continue using it? Probably for the blackheads on top of my nose, and that's about it. But I will have to use my own brush because this one has failed me. This one has failed me. Failed me. At least fix it for the thumbnail. At least for the thumbnail. So if you like this video and like to see another product tested, if it's not too expensive, I'll of course go and test it for you guys. Um, and I'll write down all the chemicals and all the goodies inside of them too. Because I'm a researcher and that's what I do with my life. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like to see more. And hit that thumbs up button so I can get on that algorithm. Bye!